The Court Martial Appeals Process. What happens after a conviction? If a service member receives a punitive discharge, their appeal to the service courts of appeal is automatic. The military requires a transcript for those cases resulting in a punitive discharge. Once the verbatim transcript is complete, the court sends the record of trial to the service member and to their service court of appeal. Once a service member and defense attorney receive the record of trial, they can begin the appeals process. Qualifying cases for the service court of criminal appeals. The case is assigned to a military attorney who will represent the defendant at the service level court of criminal appeals. After receiving the electronic record of trial, the appellate lawyer will look at the charges and the findings to see what happened at the trial. The appellate attorney will also look at the clemency request to see if the trial attorneys raised any errors that may need to be raised on appeal. The defendant has the right to retain, at their own expense, a private attorney with experience in court-martial appeals. An experienced appellate attorney finds errors in a record of trial. The appellate attorney will look in the record of trial for any errors in the court-martial that can be raised in the defendant's case during the appeals process. The client, if they have been convicted at a court-martial, can possibly expect none, one, or more of the following outcomes when petitioning the Court of Criminal Appeals. Their attorney may find only an issue on sentencing may get some or all of the UCMJ offense specifications thrown out. Convince the court that new sentencing hearings are required. The best outcome would be to have a conviction overturned entirely. Every case is different and may result in varied outcomes, including no relief for the client. What should a, a defendant look for in an appellate attorney? A defense lawyer who takes an individual, holistic approach for the appeals process. The appellate attorney will carefully review the results of the trial and the clemency request and speak to the client. Identify known issues or discover issues revealed in the record of trial. A good appellate attorney should be speaking to the client throughout the appeals process. Writing and submitting the appellate brief. Appellate attorney they write the appellate brief identifying the strongest issues in a particular case. The appellate attorney submits the brief to the Service Criminal Court of Appeals. The government has their chance to reply. Several months later, a defendant can expect the government's response. When the government responds, the defendant's attorney can write a reply brief. The appeal may or may not go to oral argument. A defendant can get relief without asking for an award at the Court of Criminal Appeals. When to ask for oral argument. If an experienced appeals lawyer has a strong case, they may not want to go and ask for oral argument because they don't want the defendant to have to wait longer to get the relief. However, they may ask for oral argument if there is something that is factually complicated that is better to present in person. A good appellate attorney will be able to make a recommendation on whether oral arguments are necessary. Petition to the Court of Appeals for the Armed Forces, or CAF. The defendant has the right to petition the Court of Appeals of the Armed Forces, or CAF. This appeal is not automatic, and the defendants must exercise this right by petitioning CAF through an appellate attorney. An appellate attorney can advise the defendant on whether they believe the Court of Criminal Appeals should have granted more relief than the convicted service member has obtained at this part in the process. Out of the hundreds of cases that go to all the service courts in a year, CAF only reviews 30 or 40 in a single year, and in some years, even fewer. If CAF grants a petition, the appellate attorney will write a longer brief, further elaborating on the issues. How long does the appeals process take? An appeal can take a year or several years. It takes the government sometimes up to six months to complete a record of trial after a conviction. An appeals lawyer needs this record of trial to properly review a defendant's case. 
If there's no punitive discharge, then an appeal can take less than a year and it goes to the office of the judge advocate and it doesn't go to court. An attorney in the judge advocate office will read the record or a summarized record of trial. It can actually be harder to get relief from the judge advocate office because with this type of appeal, there is no verbatim transcript. In this situation, with only a summarized transcript, it is more difficult to discover errors that might be evident in a verbatim transcript. Why a service member or their family should consult an experienced appellate attorney. If it's your freedom, your hard earned benefits or your loved one's freedom, you want to know that you've been thorough and done everything that you could. You want to be confident that you haven't missed anything. There are some good appointed defense attorneys at the defense appellate divisions, but they are only there for a couple of years, so their experience may be limited. Additionally, they are overworked and they are only going to take the case with the most obvious issues or errors all the way through to CAF. Defendants seeking relief after a conviction need an experienced appellate attorney who understands the ebb and flow of a law over years, as opposed to a short two-year stint with the courts of criminal appeals. Defendants should talk to an experienced appellate attorney and get a copy of the record of trial as soon as possible. Service members and their loved ones need to exercise patience because it takes the government a while to prepare the work. If you'd like more information on court martial appeals, please contact the Law Office of Peter Cagillary Jr. at ucmjlaw.com.